Hi everyone, this is Pseudo AI exploring yet another new chat tool that has been birthed into existence called Forefront AI. And when I say new, it is leveraging GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, but with a different UI experience. In their tweet, they promise a better chat GPT experience that includes access to the aforementioned models, customizable personas, and all that for the low, low price of zero dollars as it is in alpha. That is a bold claim, and since it is free, it's definitely worth to take a look and check it out for all of you looking for a good user experience that is free. Plus it doubles as an image generator, so we're going to test that out as well. The selling point here seems to be free access to GPT-4 as that is one of the first declarations they mentioned in the tweet. My skeptical brain is hyperactive now, thinking there has to be a catch or limitation to this. After all, paying the monthly subscription to OpenAI still gives you a limitation on the messages per hour of using GPT-4. Anyway, all you'll need to get started on Forefront AI is to register for an account and upon logging in, you're given a quick overview of the chats and folder system, which I'll go over in a bit, and you'll be prompted to choose your personas. These give the AI chatbot the personality of these characters, so they respond to your inquiries with that personality. Your choice now does not prohibit you from choosing other personas later on, so don't feel pressure to think too hard at this juncture. Speaking of which, once you finish these prompts, you are ready to go. Simply pick your model from the drop-down menu, and if you choose one or more personas from the original login, they'll appear in the persona drop-down menu as well. Otherwise, you can still pick a different persona from all the ones below. There are quite a few options, so feel free to pick whichever one you like. For my text prompt, I'm going to side with Rick here, as I have a relevant topic of discussion with the smartest man in the multiverse. Given humanity's rate of technological development, predict when humanity will first colonize Mars, when they will complete terraforming on Mars, and when they will colonize a planet in a different star system. Hmm. The chatbot is certainly using various Rickisms and catchphrases in his response. The answer to my inquiry sounds reasonable, so maybe not like Rick. <laughs> Anyways, it is pretty cool to have a chat with a bit more personality, so let's continue on to the next question. What theoretical technology could be used to travel to another star system within a human's lifespan? I appreciate the hangout invitation, but I'm no Morty. I'm going to tell him as such, and we hit a limit. Apparently, my skeptical brain strikes gold again. Looks like you are limited to no more than five messages every three hours. Not sure how that fits into their whole better ChatGPT declaration experience, but free is free, so even though it is capped at a ridiculously low number, it is more than you'd get otherwise without a paid subscription. Next, I'm going to show you all how to start new conversations, create new folders, and even how to move conversations to a different folder. To start a new chat, simply click on the new chat in the upper left corner. Just below that button is a little plus symbol, which when clicked on, enables you to create a new folder. Here I'll call it images as I plan on trying out the image generation feature next. To move a chat to another folder, click and drag a chat over to the destination folder and unclick. And you can even have open tabs to change between chats on the fly. It's that easy. So to get started with these image generations, simply type in hashtag imagine followed by your prompt. Let's see how about Jedi Master Yoda rapping freestyle. Truly a work of art, a masterpiece. How about a Renaissance painting version of this? Okay, I'm not sure what this abomination is supposed to be. I cannot, I, I cannot say I agree with this interpretation. How about, let's try a Pixar version instead. Again, don't really think that has an exact Pixar vibe, so this image generator certainly isn't perfect, but it's pretty good for a free product. Let's go in a different direction. Let's imagine what Elon Musk's reaction to losing all his money would be. <laughs> God, I hope to see some tears of despair or something dramatic. <laughs> God, look at that horror. That look of horror is just priceless. His face is a little off in this generator, but again, for a free image generator, this is pretty good quality. Now let's try to make Elon sadder. How about instead he gets fired? Hoping for a more dramatic face this time. Now, that is not what I was expecting. He is strangely at peace here. The image quality, I think, is better on this one, though. Now, let's see what Musk's reaction would be to having another baby, which, to be honest, is the more likely possibility of all these scenarios. <laughs> that, that doesn't seem like a very happy face to me. I, I think the fired reaction and the baby reaction should be switched. But, you know, hey, who am I to say what Elon Musk is thinking or AI's interpretation of what Elon Musk is thinking? Anyways, for our, for our last set of images, how about we see what Kermit looks like sitting on the Iron Throne? <laughs> 
<laughs> All hail King Kermit, first of his name, protector of the realm. That, I gotta say, that does not look like Kermit at all. Well, let, let's, re let's replace Kermit with Pikachu. Wow, that looks, that actually looks pretty damn sharp. I, I think this is one of the better images we generated today. Now, I wanna dive deeper into the capabilities of this language model. Is it using the full capabilities of GPT 3.5 and GPT 4? I'm gonna start with a simple math question. Well, simple being relative. In how many different ways can three identical green shirts and three identical red shirts be distributed among six children such that each child receives a shirt? And below here, I'm gonna list all the choices available. Jeez, Yoda. I thought you were smarter than this. No wonder you got order 66. I'm going to provide some helpful feedback for you. Now, in my previous video, I tested GPT-4 and barred on some code and asked it to explain an old piece of code I have that simulates two orbiting satellites in which one is circling around the other. Since I know what GPT-4 can handle through OpenAI's UI, I'm going to see if I get similar results with this. So with that in mind, I'm going to ask Professor Snape, explain the code to me using the GPT-4 model and length exceeded? Definitely didn't have that issue when running this through OpenAI. Seems like this model is reduced in or in constrained compared to the full GPT-4 model. Let's test this out further. Again, referencing the previous video I did, I had GPT-4 write me a PPO training loop for me to solve the Pendulum OpenAI gym environment. That model was able to write everything for me and debug a couple of errors in the code. So let's see how this compares. Hmm, the train method in this class has nothing. It didn't write the PPO algorithm. And all the times I have asked GPT-4 GPT-4 to do this for me in OpenAI's UI, it has never given me this response. I definitely think the model in this interface is constrained in some way. And since we are only limited to five messages, going back and forth to debug is not very feasible. Now that I'm certain the capabilities of this model seem constrained for the last part of this video, let us give GPT-4 and the in the open AI UI and GPT-4 in the forefront UI, a creative prompt to compare the capabilities of that domain. I have a thought. Let's use the previous image I generated for our rapping Yoda as inspiration for this next prompt. How about I have it write some rap lyrics in the style of Yoda about making dumplings from scratch, including all the ingredients and steps required to make a batch of delicious dumplings. So, rap battle anyone? Don't, don't worry, I'll do you all a major favor by not attempting to rap these myself. I think it is safer if we just quietly read them to ourselves. So, who do you think won? I think it's actually pretty close. I keep going back and forth on which one I like better. So, leave, leave your thoughts in the comment below as to decide who the winner is. Okay, so having spent time with GPT-4 and using Forefront AI, these are my final thoughts. Forefront AI does give you some nice amenities, such as the ability to organize your chats, having the AI talk to you in the style of various personas, and giving you limited free access to GPT-4 and has an image generator to boot, which is pretty decent. Not on the level of mid-journey, but good enough for free usage. Having an image and text generator rolled into one is also quite convenient. Again, one of the major selling points in that tweet was that free use of GPT-4 and I think that is a bit misleading because not only are you limited to just five messages per hour but the model seems to be constrained version with a lower character limit and at least for coding doesn't produce the same quality results. So my final verdict is that it's fun to use as a language model certainly can spit out some rhymes like hot fire but it isn't as powerful as advertised in my opinion. Then again it is free so that gives it some leeway but the tweet from the forefront AI did state that it would be a better chat GPT experience, which in some respects it is, namely the personas, images, and the organization. With that in mind, thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Stay curious, my friends, and let's continue exploring the world of AI together. See you all in the next video.